Well, welcome back to the channel, Ron. As you can see, I got a little problem here, and I thought this would be a good time to show you that you can use the manual Harbor Freight tire changer on big rims like this without much of a problem. So this is not the first time I've had to do this, but I thought I'd take the opportunity and uh, show you that this can be done. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, it wasn't too bad uh, taking it off the rim. Uh, I bet I could probably do up to an 18 and 19 inch rim, and one of these days I'll be able to try it. Now, uh, this one has a tube in it, and I just found, inspecting the tire, that there is a piece of metal that's pushed down inside here. So, uh, before I can go ahead and put the tire back on and, and put the new tube in, I need to get rid of that piece of metal. So, I need to dig that out of there. Actually, I'm going to push it through instead. There we go. Okay. Believe it or not, it's not a piece of metal. It's a very, very sharp rock. Right there. Perfectly uh, set up as a little spear and drove it right in there. So with this type of tire repair, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I actually have these plugs that I picked up and what this is going to do is it's going to I'm going to feed this up in through the tire and uh, put it on that way now this is this will work for uh, tubeless tires as well I mean that's pretty much what it's designed for but I'm doing this primarily just to help protect uh, this tire here from the for, um, protect the tube Nice. Now that tube will go right against there and uh, that will protect anything from getting in that hole and causing any more problems. So just gonna pull it up like that. There. Let's go ahead and put the tire back on. I'm gonna put it halfway on after I wire brush it down and then put the tube in. So I'm just going to turn this around because it's going to be a lot easier to put the valve in, the valve stem in. When it comes time to put the uh, tube in, it's going to be a lot easier to get the valve stem in there if it's turned this way. Okay, now for the fun part, <laughs> putting this tube in. Uh, these can be kind of a pain sometimes. Okay, now you want to find the valve stem. And what I like to do is I take my valve stem remover and I'll actually have that help me hold it there. That way I don't have to worry about it falling back down inside there. All right. So what you want to do is just make sure that that is setting down there all the way around. And it looks really nice. Okay. Now when you're putting this back on, you have to be careful that you don't pinch the tube itself with this. So you're going to have to start all over again. So just be careful as you're peeling the tire back on um, that you don't pinch the tube. This is just soap and water. Finally works pretty good. All right, I think I'm going to start on this side. Just really carefully work that around there. Just 
Make sure this tire is pushed down in the valley. It should slide right on. Okay, now we need to get some air into it. This can be a little tricky because on a normal tire, the valve stung is kind of mounted, so to speak, on the rim. This one here, the tube kind of floats around, so it can be a little tricky. Once you get some air in there, the valve stem will stick out a little bit, so then you can get on to it pretty good. Well, okay, well there it is. So the idea wasn't to show you how to replace the tube or patch the uh, tire. The whole idea was to show you that you can do this with the Hover Fright tire changer. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one.